In today's video, we're taking a look at this uh, PC card from a RISC PC. Um, yeah, I've been uh, having a look at the uh, podules and uh, various memory modules that I've got in my uh, sort of collection, and um, I noticed this one. So I was uh, coming to bag it up. It uh, looks like the uh, components are not looking in quite the best shape, really. So um, definitely it's uh, due for a recap. Uh, especially uh, this one down here near to the, the sort of camera. So uh, I've got myself some new flux. And, uh, this stuff is uh, it's quite liquidy, never used it before. But uh, yeah, as you'll see as we go through this video, it's actually working really well. So uh, I'm really impressed with this stuff. So whereas before I would, uh, you know, syringe a bit of uh, flux on around the, uh, the contact points on this capacitor, actually just, uh, yeah, covered it in this uh, liquid stuff. So uh, yeah, this is the first time giving it a try and uh, yeah, we'll get some heat on. So the heat's uh, around about 350 degrees and uh, you'll see it doesn't take long for this uh, this little thing to pop off. So uh, give it a bit of uh, equal heat on uh, both sides. So I don't actually know if this card actually works. Um, I've not yet got a working wrist PC out uh, on the bench to uh, give it a test. So I just thought, well, you know, there's only three capacitors on it, so this won't take long. So I'll just do it anyway. So even if it works or not, it doesn't really matter. So there we go. It's starting to loosen off now. Just a bit more heat and that thing will uh, come straight off. So you can see that, uh, yeah, that uh, has been leaking a little bit. You've got the, the pads, you know, possibly looking a bit unclean. You've got some sort of reaction slightly around that uh, small resistor, just on the left of where the brush is, just there. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, due a bit of a clean up. Yeah, you can see that the uh, tip on that soldering iron is not great. It's uh, it's almost worn out. I'm going to be changing that fairly soon, but uh, for now it it should be fine. So we're just going to use it to uh, yeah wick away the old solder off there, give the pads a bit of a clean up. Yeah, so you can see it's uh, yeah, it's uh, not fantastic. It's a bit cleaner, so I'm going to come in with the IPA now, give it a bit of a squirt, good brushing. So yeah, another close up, looking a bit better this time. So we'll go ahead and put the uh, the capacitor on now. So uh, just add a little bit of new uh, solder to the pads. And uh, yeah, sorry, that's a bit of a jump cut there. <laughs> the new capacitors now kind of put in place on one side. So. Uh, yeah, uh, I tried using the heat to heat both of the new solder pads up and then basically drop the capacitor on. And um, yeah, that, that didn't work at all. Um, yeah, don't, don't really know why, it just wouldn't stick. Um, so uh, yeah, I went with uh, just putting the capacitor down on one side and using the soldering iron to warm that side up and then move it around and uh, yeah, just heat it up on the other side again. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's the way I... I Went with the rest of the uh, capacitors on this board. So, 
yeah um, here I am just uh, cleaning up the joints a little bit uh, so using the flux and then just a quick dab with the soldering iron just uh, gets those joints just a bit more molten and uh, just, a, just a nicer nicer join so they're nice and shiny now So we're just going to move around the board and uh, yeah you need to uh, note the orientation of these as you're taking them off uh, just to make sure you put them on right um, the, there is a plus on the board um, I noticed but uh, yeah, it's, it's much easier just to remember the uh, where the black uh, you know the black mark is on the capacitor and make sure it's the same when you replace it each one of these on this board is actually in a different uh, rotation So, as with the first one, we're just going to heat it up again and uh, yeah, let the flux and the heat work the join and then uh, pop them off. So, I was quite surprised to find this uh, card in this uh, kind of condition, really. Um, you know, I've not, uh, not particularly found any of the kind of like podules or memory modules for the Acorn or for, for any other machine like the, you know, the Amiga, Commodore Amiga uh, to be quite in this state really um, unless it's got a battery on of course but uh, yeah these capacitors really didn't look that great and uh, I've got about three of these in my collection uh, this one the i4 A6 the other two are slightly different I think they're uh, some kind of DX processor Get back into the collection now and have a quick look but um yeah i don't know if this one's seen a bit more action and um the, the capacitors have just failed a bit quicker or i don't know not quite sure why but you know if i left this just sitting there on my shelf then uh, yeah they, they would have continued to do some more damage because you can see the pads are you know they're not quite right there there is, there is a bit of corrosion, so I think we caught it just in time. So as before, now we're just putting a bit of solder on the pads, and then uh, yeah, I'll use the uh, solder nine to put one side of the capacitor on, and then keep the other side. So uh, yeah, just quick jump cut there. That's the capacitor now on in place. And uh, just give it a quick clean, make sure all the flux is off and uh, the join's good. Then moving on to the final one, same process. So I did look at the blue um, uh, capacitors next to these um, electrolytics. They don't look great, but they're not leaking, so I decided to leave those alone for the moment. But um, when they start to go, you can see the kind of like the, the clear plastic film that wraps around them starts to just degrade a little bit and start to peel. And I think at least one of them on this board is maybe starting to do that. So, but I don't have uh, any of those capacitors in my collection at the moment. Um, I've only got the bigger blue ones for the uh, for the actual A five thousand board, so I'm gonna have to buy those in. But I'd say they're not looking at the moment, so that's uh, that's not a concern. So I'll be zooming in in a second to have a look at the area where I've just taken that capacitor off. But actually, the most notable thing is actually the condition of the uh, blue capacitor next to it. Uh, you can see the the film uh, that's wrapped around the body of it is actually starting to peel off. So it looks like it's either started to expand a little bit, and that's uh, that's why it's cracked the uh, the outer sort of shell. Definitely needs replacing. So I'm going to get some of those on order and uh, come back in on this one. But uh, for the moment, yeah, we're just going to carry on with the uh, fixing up the uh, the electrolytic one just here. So same again, putting a new one on, get a bit of solder on the pads, and then we'll uh, yeah just put the new one in place.
So whereas before you didn't see me actually putting the capacitor in place, um, yeah, my phone was actually not recording very well and kept stopping. I managed to miss those sequences. Uh, this one you'll see me actually putting it on, so you'll see the technique I'm using for the uh, soldering iron on one side than the other. So we're just going to place the capacitor over the uh, pads, warm it up a little bit and then drop one side on. There we go, let that cool down, then rotate around. It's actually quite difficult because the camera's right in front of my face here, so. But it's, uh, yeah, using the, uh, the pliers in one hand, just press the capacitor down whilst the solder heats up. Then turn around and just make sure the, uh, the join on the other side is good again. Okay, and then just to make sure the flow is good, put a bit of solder on. Fantastic stuff this is, I'm really quite impressed with this. That's really making these joins uh, go really well. There we go, so that one's done, then just uh, yeah, finally this one. So that'll do for this video. This board is now uh, recapped. Certainly for the SMDs, we'll come back in and do the blue ones at some point. But uh, yeah, that's it. See you in the next one. Thanks.